like five seconds? Never in my life. Um, I think this was the most bizarre game I've ever been a part of, for sure. Just the reviews, the way, I mean, what oh, went yeah, into the that? combination of the reviews, the, the way it was finished, uh, the, 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 the one, was it the second left? Two reviews under a second. I don't think I've ever seen that before in my life. Um, I thought we had possession of the rebound after the the um, no call or foul call that was overturned. I thought Herb had possession, so that was that was interesting because in the rules it's supposed to be whoever has possession of the ball gets the ball. They said they blew the they blew the play dead, but how is the play blown dead if if the foul is overturned? It's just it's complicated, I guess, but. I mean, game shouldn't have come down to, you know, 0.4 seconds left. I mean, up in the fourth quarter, we got to do a better job of closing out. And I don't know what we scored in the fourth quarter, but we didn't score. Um, hard to win when you don't score down the stretch of games. The, the play you brought up with her getting the rebound, uh, did you guys get an explanation in the game or anything? He said that the, the play was blown dead. It was what I was told. I don't understand how the play is blown dead. You know, it was a foul. They called it a foul. Herb had the ball. He dribbled the ball. He looked at the ref like, what's going on? If it's overturned and he's the closest and he has the ball, I would think that it would go to him. But it's unfortunate. And that's, a, that's a tough loss. Um, we got to be better. I got to be better. I missed two free throws. and um, I had a pretty good look from three in overtime. But I think we just we got to give ourselves a chance and um, play with better pace. The entire game, I thought we did well for about three and a half quarters. Uh, down the stretch of the fourth, I think we got a little congested, you know, tough twos, not a lot of spacing. We got to do a better job of freeing each other up, setting, setting good screens, cutting hard, and trying to play off misses. It, it, I think the last three minutes we weren't getting stops either. So we're walking the ball up, not being able to play off misses. Yeah, you guys are. Five and eight now in clutch games. What are you kind of mm -hmm. seeing with the offense uh, late in some of these fourth quarters where the execution kind of slips and allows some of these teams to come back and get the win? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to watch the film. We got to be better. I got to be better from an organization standpoint. I think we, we putting the ball in our best players' hands. It's just about making sure the spacing is right, making sure that we have who we want to be the next pass, just a little stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I thought we got some some decent looks, and then some, some possessions were awful. So. Just got to do a better job with the organization. Um, I didn't just figure it out matchup wise who we want who we want to be in the action. Um, the difference in the game was they scored on possessions, right? You know, they tried to go to Jackson some, they went to Josh some some job pick and roll, but we were blit we were blitzing in Dublin, so he had to kind of make the rotation pass. And then there's a couple of possessions where we didn't get the um, rebound. So um, just the little stuff we gotta we gotta be better at, and then we gotta make shots down the stretch too. Like it's only so much that. Everybody can do. We got to put the ball in the basket. Is it at the point now where it's kind of a, a mental thing, where it kind of feels like a here we go again type of thing in some of these late games? Um, I thought, I mean, we were up double digits, <clears throat> so we got to extend the league. And um, tonight it was just, a, I mean, it, it was a weird game with the, the circumstances and how it ended. But we just, we got to put the pass behind us, really learn from the mistakes that we've made historically. You know, one game is turnovers, and then some games is lack of execution. Tonight we missed shots. I don't think we turned the ball over down the stretch. I have to watch the film, but just figuring out how to get quality looks. I feel like it's a lot of tough, congested, contested shots um, where guys are shooting over, you know, hands or shooting over the best player or there's a double team coming late. Like, how do we get our spacing better? How do I make sure I'm, you know, spacing properly or calling the right action. So, you know, just go back to the drawing board, watch the film, talk to the guys and um, figure out how we can all be better. I think it starts with looking at yourself, like how can how can I be better? Um, I have some wide open threes I gotta make, I gotta make free throws. You can only control like certain things, right? So not give up AM ones, um, you know, not help out of the strong side, not give up offensive rebounds. Like those are the things, uh, if we do those things better, if I do those things better, it uh, gives us a better chance of winning. Yeah, you mentioned the free throws, another game, but the team misses double-digit free throws. Mm. Just how you know frustrating is it that that's continued to be an issue in some of these close games? It's frustrating, especially like I gotta make my free throw. I'm a you know career 81, 82. Uh, can't miss two in a row, especially in a game where you got a chance to make it a one possession game. So that's on me. We we practice, we all work out, we all shoot our free throws after practice. We just gotta lock in and make them. 
um, during the game. But um, you're going to make or miss shots. I got to make my shots, and I got to be more um, dependable down the stretch of games. But we got to do the other stuff better because you can't rely on makes or misses. Like, that's going to happen. They miss shots. You know, they missed the free throw. He's probably 90, 85, 90%. So you're going to miss shots. But the effort's got to be there on the defensive end. We got to rotate. We got to communicate. Can't give up transition baskets. Like, that's the stuff you really got control over. You really can control communication. You can control making the next pass. You can control stepping up, taking the charge, or getting a contest. But you're going to miss shots sometimes. But I think we got to do the other stuff better, too, so that if we're not scoring, we're still getting stops. So you talked about how it felt like things were more difficult, like a lot of shots were contested. Mm -hmm. How much do you feel inexperience plays a part? Because you guys, we've talked about before, you know, of course, you guys have barely played together as a group in, in key minutes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a part of basketball. I'm, I'm not going to make excuses. I mean, we'll be playing 14 games together, maybe 13 games together this season. But I mean, we just got to gotta communicate and we got to figure it out. Um, I think that's the bottom line. Like five and eight is unacceptable. You know, being up double digits in the fourth quarter, you got to close. Um, we got to win these types of games. And um, I guess it starts with one. So we got to get one and then got to ride the momentum and um, go from there. But I think it's, like you said before, we're, we're a young team in terms of not having played together, but you know how to play basketball. You got to figure it out, and we got to execute, and we got a lot of you know guys who understand how to play the game. So now it's about putting it all together and executing down the stretch and just taking shots with confidence. You're going to make some, you're going to miss some, but everything has to be done with force and with confidence. In your previous experiences, has that how it's typically worked? A young but talented team, if you just get that first one, maybe then you can get that ball rolling? Yeah, I mean, I played, <clears throat> I was in Portland for a long time, so the continuity was different, play calling was different. And they played together from day one, you know what I mean? So it was just a different level of understanding and then what we wanted to accomplish and like what sets the space, what we wanted. Um, so we'll get there. We got to continue to to collaborate, continue to have conversations, and continue to walk through stuff together. Like, yo, this is what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? And I think as you have those conversations, it gets better. We had some really good possessions on the stretch, which was encouraging. And we had some where we were like, no, this is this is unacceptable. We got to be better. Um, as long as we're putting ourselves in position to succeed, like I can be comfortable with the results. But we got to make sure that we're getting what we want in terms of the action, in terms of the matchup. Like, if you get what you want and you don't score or you lose, then you can live with that. Um, but I don't think we did that every time. We did it sometimes, but sometimes it was stagnant or so we getting denied. This is a good defensive team, right? They're going to deny, mess up the action. So, like, what do we do after that? And I think that's the next step for us, especially when you get towards the um, playoffs and playing against teams who are aggressive in the half court. Um, you got to be able to get to the next action. Maybe there's a, a play call, but, like, what is the next action if the play don't work? Yeah, CJ, the last few minutes and overtime is going to get the highlight but 20 points in the fourth quarter against Houston 19 to start the night tonight 23 in the fourth is it maybe something bigger there that needs to be addressed and that the tweaks aren't working and do something drastic because it's more than just the crunch time it's just what'd you say about the fourth time. today what was it? I'm, I, didn't, I didn't watch the game yet 23 in the fourth tonight uh first in the first uh 19 in the first and then 20 in the fourth so we quarters. scored 19 in the first and 23 in the fourth correct yeah. That's three quarters out of the last five that mm -hmm. you're not your best. Yeah, uh, I, I got to watch the film, but I mean, it's, you're not going to win many games. You're not scoring in the fourth quarter unless you're up 20. You know what I mean? So we got to be better. Some of it was just us missing shots. Some of that is missing shots, and some of that is just lack of execution. And the other part of it is we get stops in the second quarter. We got some stops in the third quarter to extend the league, so we're able to get out runs. He's able to get play around the rim, get drive, kick threes. Dyson's finishing, Herb's finishing around the basket. So that makes the game easier when we're playing with pace, when we're playing off of misses. I think in the fourth quarter, in both games, we wasn't getting stops. Singoon was scoring around the basket, or they was driving and kicking, hitting shots. Then it's a walk up. And you playing against Houston, who's a top five defensive team. You playing against Memphis, who's number one defensive team in the NBA since Jaws back. So those are good defensive teams with rim protection. So it's hard to score in the half court. So you got to get stops. You got to make the game easier. And I don't think that we did that in those quarters. And that's why it's harder to score for us. Schematically, it looked like Zion was bringing the ball up more maybe for point Zion experiment sets. And you said at practice you want to see more movement. Were you happy with the movement today? And at times, I thought we had pretty good movement. Uh, I think it's just getting used to the spacing. You know, he's going to be bringing the ball up a lot. He's going to have the ball, finding matchups, and getting downhill. And we got to have proper spacing um, to where 
you know, there's there's driving angles, there's passing angles, uh, there's there's ability for somebody else to make a play if they have to. Um, so we will continue to watch the film and figure out how to get better from there. Thank you. Yeah. No problem.